Hi everyone, this is Patrick. Welcome to the second part of my video tutorial on Red Hat JBoss BPM Suite. In the first movie, we just installed the product, created an administrative user, and uh, started the product to log in. Now, in the second part, we will take a look into the repository that we need to create in which JBoss BPM will store all the artifacts that we will create during our authoring phase. The repository, and this is new in uh, BPM Suite 6, is Git based, so it follows more or less lots of things that you know from Git and gives you capabilities that you know from Git. With the advantage, you don't need to do it, you don't need to know Git. If you don't want to, get into doing git specific stuff you can just use the bpm suite and it'll do everything for you you don't need to worry about the embedded git the structure of the repository is very simple you have a top level organization in the organization you can create a repository and in the repository you can create one or more projects and in the projects you have your package structures so very simple and very maven like and why did this the way you'll see when we talk about deployment so now let's start this repository structure for our demo for this we will go into the menu select authoring administration and here we will create a manage organizational units we will add an organizational unit which we will call YouTube and at the owner I will enter my username that we created so now we have our organizational unit if you create a new repository, the repository here is going to be named demo and the organizational unit for this repository is of course our YouTube organizational unit. Okay, the repository is created successful. So now we have our structure as you can see here, we have the repositories demo okay now if we go back in authoring project authoring can then ignoring the tooltips that come up we can select our organizational unit the repository and now we'll create a new item in it which will be the project we call this project webinar which is actually nonsense let's call it what it is going to be an insurance sample so we we'll call it insurance okay here we can give a bit more details information but uh, we'll just enter the group ID which is just simple com demo insurance the artifact ID is insurance and we will work on the version 1.0 and finish and now we have our ready to work on repository structure in the next video we will start working on um, data model that we will use for rules, rules execution, but also in the process itself that we are going to design. So stay tuned for the next video.